Hello everyone, we're back with even more questions and now I know we said 30 but let's make this a full calculations mock on YouTube. There will be 10 more questions, 10 more videos, making it a total of 40 in your playlist. Now question 31 is an NNT type question. This is very common in the GPHC exam which is why you need to understand the theory behind it which will help you understand the question and then answer it when it comes up in the exam. Now some of us will want to draw a table, that's fine, but I have another method as well that we'll go through and hopefully after this question you have a better understanding of these types of questions. Now with these ones what happens is you have two groups, so you have a control group and you have an experimental or an intervention group. So a control group is where nothing changes and an experimental or an intervention is where something's happening. So a patient starting a new medicine, whether it be to help them, whether it be to reduce side effects, something is happening basically. So you have the two separate groups. So you have two separate groups, the control and the experimental. Now what we need to do is we need to work out our control first. So we have our patients, 320 that develop diabetes, that goes on top. And then it's divided by the total sample size. So the total sample size is 320 patients developed diabetes and 680 patients did not. So it's 320 plus the 680. That will give us our CER, our control event rate. We need to work out our experimental. So 90 patients developed diabetes. So 90 patients developed diabetes. So it's 90 divided by 90 plus the 910 patients that didn't develop diabetes. So what we get is 0.32 minus 0.09 and that'll give us an ARR, an absolute risk reduction of 0.23. And then after that, it's pretty simple. It's 1 divided by 0.23, which will give us 4.34. But as always with NNT, you have to round up. So our answer is 5 patients for this one. 